Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we are somewhere we've never been before and that is Kensington, Johannesburg. This is the first home we've ever had on the show that is situated here. It is going for 4.5 million rand, a four bedroom, four bathroom, six car garage home that comes with a host of other features that would make an entertainer lose his mind. So join me as we tour this house and you find out if this is gonna be the next home of your dreams. Coming through your large front door, you find yourself in a home that easily is reminiscent of a safari style lodge, but this time you're right here in the heart of Kensington. Easy access to Bedford View, Bedford Centre, as well as Santon City, and the highway means getting around is never going to be easier. And this home at this price point is an absolute steal. Right here we find ourselves in an indoor braai area, really cool way for you to still enjoy South African style living, but still keep it indoor, protected from the weather when it's cold or too hot outside. You've got an informal breakfast nook right over here. Lots of space, it doesn't feel cramped at all. Then this double-sided feature wall fireplace, live edge stone gas fireplace that is passed through. So you get to enjoy this on the other area, which is your formal dining room area. And then what makes this area so special has to be this right here, a massive fireplace slash braai. It's got all the netting that you might need to be fully kitted out for any entertainment purposes. Beautiful down lighting. And then you've got your flue, your chimney that funnels the smoke out. Really not any smoke will come and penetrate your house or make it uh, uncomfortable to continue entertaining people using this braai area. If we look up to the ceiling, super tall, you've got your bulkhead ceiling with your LED lighting strips, really cool feature. And then I love all this stacked wood underneath, place there for your bar fridge. And then this right here, if we're talking about fire pits, if we're talking about fire, you've got a full enclosed fireplace right over here, really beautifully kitted out in wrought iron and that services this area here. A massive, massive living room area with couches that possibly look about as comfortable as you can get. Got stackable sliding doors on both edges. This is, without a doubt, an entertainer's dream because of how well it's set out. I mentioned that fire pit being passed through. Here is your formal dining room area and one of the coolest dining room tables we've seen. Beautiful live wood slab acting as your dining room table. Unfortunately, the furniture is not included, but it gives you such a good idea of how incredible your area could be in this home and how nicely decorated it could be. Then, if we come outside, you easily see why I say this is an entertainer's dream. We've got tiled floor as well as low maintenance wood decking. On that deck, easily my favorite feature for every single home would be this right over here, massive jacuzzi. Beautiful, beautiful garden, plenty of space, lots of greenery, so it is nice to be out here, it doesn't feel barren at all. Then, as I mentioned, you've got space for seating, but with that space for seating comes a lot of space for you to entertain the people that are gonna be sitting here. Full prep area, prep sink, plug point, you've got a draft machine right over here, and then all underneath here, along the way, are inbuilt fridges. Then over here, you've got your outdoor fireplace. Maybe you don't want to do it inside, you can definitely do it outside. A couple of other killer features when we talk about this garden area is your low maintenance mosaic pool, tucked all the way to the back with a fountain, again, off of those live edge rocks. Beautifully, beautifully done, shade netting over it. And then something else that makes this home so, so special is its size, or should I say its land size. Massive piece of land right at the back of it. You've got staff quarters or at least place where you can turn into staff quarters. All the building is there. You can turn it into an office, into staff quarters, into another outdoor entertainment area. You can maybe even turn it into a huge play area for the kids if you'd like. Then talking about other quarters located on the ground, you've got a two bedroom, two bathroom cottage with its very own kitchen, dining room and lounge area that is already built two story tucked away beautifully there. So you've got so many options if you're living in this home. But now we have wrapped up the outdoor area. Let's go back inside. Let's talk about the kitchen and then it's time to take a look at the bedrooms. And now it's time to talk about this kitchen. So we've got the two-toned Caesar stone countertops. We've got cream and then the dark tone right here, keeping this prep area clean because of that dark color. Gas burner at the top, 
prep sink, under counter storage, bar area, and then also breakfast nook. Up above us, we've got three down lights acting as your spotlights when you are cooking in built appliances, more prep areas running the length of this kitchen space for a extra large fridge. And then you've got your back area, your pantry, should I say, or your scullery area. Got more of a continuation of that live rock. So much storage, under counter storage for appliances, double sink, and then a door leading out onto the atrium, as well as the back side of your house, which we're gonna show you in a moment because we're gonna be going down this passage. Going down the passage, the first thing you come to is your guest bathroom. This bathroom comes fully kitted with a shower as well as toilet, under counter storage, and plenty of down lighting. Right next to your guest bathroom is a storage cupboard that acts perfectly as a linen closet. And making your way down the passage, you come to your first bedroom. This bedroom is amply endowed with space, high ceilings, built-in cupboards, and then sliding glass windows that open out onto the back area, that atrium that houses quite a lot of indigenous plants, beautifully, beautifully spruced up with a little bit of greenery, making that home so much better. But now we look at the next bedroom. This one is even more special than the last with sliding doors that open out onto your garden, ample space for beds of any size, built-in storage, and again, an ensuite bathroom, single vanity, toilet, bath, as well as glass enclosed shower, really does make all the bedrooms in this home feel so much more special. And then that passage continues and leads you to your third bedroom, which is this one right here. This is very, very close to the one we just saw. We've got these sliding glass doors that look out onto your garden area, lets you really enjoy the greenery, lets you enjoy the beautiful weather that we're experiencing today. But in terms of features here, yeah, it is a carbon copy of what we've just seen. We've got plenty of cupboard space, so much space acting as a bedroom, ensuite bathroom with a shower as well as bath, gigantic mirror above the bath, really increasing the size of what this bathroom feels like, then toilet, single vanity, and all the storage you could ever need. But now, it is time for that creme de la creme, that master suite. Take a look at what a master suite right here in Kensington has to offer. And here we are finally in this master suite. And as you can see, it is very large, ample space for you to deck it out with a lounge suite if you'd like, maybe even another desk if you'd like to bring your office in here. So much space for any types of beds. And then again, you're looking out onto that beautiful garden. Then on this side of your master suite, you've got all your cupboard space with a section right over here where you can sit down and get ready. Really nice dark wood and so much storage space reaching all the way up to the ceiling. We've also got an aircon in this room and behind me is your master bathroom suite and it comes with some killer features. Let's take a look. And here we are in the master suite in the heart of Kensington and I love some of the design choices they've done within this master bathroom. The first thing that catches the eye is this freestanding bathtub placed just in front of this massive piece of glass looking out onto your pool. On my left hand side, a double vanity, under counter storage, and a piece of glass, a piece of mirror, should I say, that goes straight from the vanity all the way up to the ceiling. We've got another one right over here. This mirror really, really making this bathroom feel twice, maybe even three times the size it is. On my left hand side, we've got a walk-in shower decked out in glass beautiful shower head and all mosaic pattern that matches the patterns here as well as the patterns we find in the pool. I really love the light and the air coming in here. I also like that they've thrown in a heater on those cold winter days. But that does wrap up this incredible home right here in Kingsington. Let's go out, let's talk about the price point and how you can become its next owner. Let's go. Guys, we've had to come outside to now talk about how you can become this house's next owner. It is on sale for 4.5 million, four bed, four bathroom, a six car garage, and all of the incredible amenities in between. If you'd like to schedule a viewing of this house or send in an offer to purchase, contact Bedford Brokerage. Their details are on screen right now as well as in the description of this video, and don't waste any time. Then, if you're looking for a house anywhere in between, larger, smaller, in a different area for more expensive, 
or anywhere below this price point. Go on to privateproperty.co.za as we list every single property in South Africa in one easy to find, easy to search, and easy to contact place. If you'd like to see more from, of me, you can see me on at Mr. Viveros on Instagram, and we'll see you again Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. as we tour some of the most incredible, exclusive, unbelievable, and breathtaking homes around South Africa. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.